tell me you're living your life through a trauma response without telling me you're living your life through a trauma response. Ryan encouraged me to read the book, Start With Why. So naturally, after we got off of our live, I went over to Spotify and downloaded it so I could listen to the audiobook because as much as I'd love to be the person who reads books, just like I'd love to be the woman who goes to a bar, eats a cheeseburger, and has a beer, those are just not the things that I am. Now, what I am is a person who's gone through lots of therapy and a lot of things in a very short period of time, which means that I have grown exponentially in all of the ways and I can share these things with you vulnerably, honestly, and factually. Although they will not sound kind when I say them, but the reason why I did anything as a content creator before this season of life was a trauma response. Now, that is not to blame anyone anymore because I've worked on that, Um, but it is to say that that is how I coped because I didn't know how to cope because when things are hard and you are neurodivergent and your kid is too and you have back-to-back babies and the things that are around you look different than the things that you are experiencing and you don't have the same lived experience as everyone else you know, it is very difficult. And when people tell you you have to live a certain way to be normal, I guess. Um, It's really hard when you don't feel normal and you can never keep up and you're late to everything because that is part of whatever the neurodivergent trait is. Um, And so I say all that to say that that was the original why. The original why was a trauma response because of our financial situation, because of my lack of coping skills, and just how I dealt with things. But now it has led me to the real why. And I appreciate Ryan's recommendation for the book because it gave me some time to think. And I've also been thinking after Gen Con because I had some really good conversations there and it felt a lot like therapy. But the thing that I think the why is now, which it really, really is, is because I never, ever, ever want anyone to feel how I felt before. Now, I'm not saying that it was all bad because it wasn't. But there were some really rough seasons that I've been through. And if I can share with you all of those things and I can show you how to get out of that thick of it um, while also recognizing that I am just a regular person, I am not a counselor or a therapist. So please do not, you know, just like take this all with a grain of salt and maybe anecdotally, uh, but whatever it is that you take from it, I hope that it can help because that's what I want to do. I want to help people. I want you to feel better if you don't feel good today. So that's my why. My why is just not wanting people to feel bad um, because who would want that?